Kawasaki is committed to bringing the world of big bike racing and off-roading to Thailand. And part of that commitment is organizing events where both novice and experienced riders can improve their skills and race against the best in a safe but challenging environment. This weekend, Kawasaki is holding a series of contests known as Enduro and they've chosen a place not far from the factory where many of their big bikes are assembled in Bluakdeng in Rayong province. We're by the reservoir, a beautiful place to appreciate some peace and quiet, except for when a hundred motorcycles roar in. With enduro racing, there's always a serious chance you'll come off your bike, so it's critical to wear lots of protection. Okay, so first I sit down, right? Yes, and I okay. will give you the elbow. This one is for the elbow. This one is for the elbow. I feel like I'm being treated by a Kawasaki nurse. <laughs> Except she's wearing black, not white. <laughs> Is it fit you well? You yeah, can it seems to be okay. Try move your arm. Huh? We'll see how well it fits after I'm sprawled in the dirt. Just, then yeah. we'll know. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so it's protecting all the joints, right? Yes. The elbows, yes. the knees. The last one. Okay. The helmet. But there's nothing that needs protecting in here. No. Nothing no, worth protecting. No. Oh no. Wear it no, no. <laughs> With protection in place, I'm off for my first lesson. It's a bit like a nursery slope in skiing. This will be my first time on an enduro bike. As you can see, it's much, much higher off the ground. These shock absorbers help you handle rocky terrain. But scientific research has shown that the higher up you are, the further you have to fall. Enduro racing is big time fun, but it's not child's play. The most important thing is rider safety. So this first day is all about acquiring skills and practicing moves. So what are the most important skills an enduro rider needs? A professional Kawasaki trainer explains. เทคนิคที่สําคัญที่สุดก็คือเราอ่านพื้นฐานของผู้ที่มาเรียนเป็นอันดับแรกก่อนนะครับว่าเขาอยู่เขาอยู่เลเวลไหนนะครับเพราะ
Time is nigh. In this three hour time trial, the Kawasaki riders will race against the clock and navigate a daunting array of obstacles, hairpin bends, stomach curdling slopes, and woe inducing water hazards. These are not just races, they're more like multi-level games where teams complete laps on an obstacle course with a set time allowed for each stage of the contest. Winners receive their trophies on the Kawasaki truck stage. So, Philip, how did it go today? Uh, it was a tough day. I, uh, I just decided to come at the last minute and I went it alone. Uh, it was normally two riders and I, I just decided to go it alone do one rider. And what was the most challenging part of the course for you? Uh, just survive, just getting around. Every, uh, the, the course itself wasn't too challenging, but just to, you know, you had to push hard. And at what point did you think, hey, maybe I got a chance to win this? Oh, I didn't to tell you the truth. I was saying, I was just uh, trying to see where I'd finish as an individual rider, how I'd finish with the teams, how they, how they go, and just pace myself. They came, they saw, they conquered, they enduroed. This event is done and dusted, but the riders have lived to fight another day, battling treacherous terrain, the laws of physics, and their own raw emotions on another Kawasaki Enduro test.